I ordered HelloFresh and not sponsored, obviously, because <laughs> I have like, ooh, nobody. Open it, I guess. Um, unpack kit bags, empty ice packs, visit our site, break it down. Okay. They want me to do already do a lot more work than I'm going to do. And then we have things. And so we got food inside. And the one I'm doing today is that one. And I got chicken. Chicken. So bye box. <laughs> it says hello. Goodbye box. Got the uh, menu orders of um, the ones that I ordered. So I got beef tacos. And then we have garden spinach ricotta ravioli. Oh, this is they want me to buy sides, which I did buy garlic bread. So you win. Hello fresh. And then the one we're actually making, crunchy Italian chicken heat pan bake. It's the easiest one. And I'm gonna start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees. But my oven is like a digital one and the thing doesn't work. So I will actually heat it to 460 because that's what 425 actually is. I'm sure there's a way you can get it to be right, but it's fine. And then let's see what else we have. Fresh trap track rewards. What? I'm barely doing this. Welcome to America's number one milk. Look, they're trying, they just try to upsell you all the time. Which I mean, when you have bread, it's not hard to upsell me on bread. I will take bread. Kiwi Co. So this is a kid thing. Uh, you can get your first month free with this code, I guess. And then a tailored personalized nutrition to unleash your dog's best health. What? I wonder how much that is. No. If you want a code for that, there you go. Can you see? I mean, we were making their food for a while, so I, I bet those boxes are really, like, really expensive. And I have the chicken next to my phone. That's probably good. So we just need this one today. I'm going to put it where you can't. Oh, I got it. Except I need the instruction side. So give me a second. Life hack. Use a basting brush or the back of a spoon to coat the chicken. All right, let's start with step number one. Adjust rack to top position. It's in whatever position it'll cook or it won't. It's top-ish. See, wash and dry produce, which I'm assuming is in this bag. Yeah, let's see. Mmm. Jeez, you can tell it's Italy. Custom blend seasoning. Little sour cream. Broccoli. Two packs of breadcrumbs. <laughs> this is so cute. It's a little baby lemon. And little potatoes. Um, they really don't know Silsi because this is not enough potatoes. And that's it. So it says to recycle everything. Let's use kitchen scraps instead, like carrot tops. What? They want you to play tic-tac-toe with uh, vegetable scraps. Okay. That went in my recycle pile. So we're supposed to wash the vegetables. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't pull out any of the stuff I need. There is something nasty all over my zester. What do I need? I should see what I need. Bust out zester, medium bowl, baking sheet, paper towel, large bowl. That's a lot of bowls. I'm not happy about that. Yeah, this was supposed to be easy. Why do I need bowls? Um, it has a list of things you need. I just didn't read it. There's something weird on my zester. Broccoli. That was dangerous. That was more dangerous than it was. All right. Oh, freaking washing veggies for real. Unhappy with food prep. Uh, could you hand me roll paper towels? I don't want to unhook my mic in the middle of recording. Wait, can you say words? It's not recording. It's not recording you. Uh, technical difficulties. At least it didn't take the whole video to find out. Yeah, so it's just gonna sound like I'm talking to myself a lot at the beginning. Maybe we'll cut in audio, I don't know. Uh, but Sadie Cat is now here with us. She's been here the whole time. A large bowl and the broccoli that I already washed in the bowl. So we want to finish washing vegetables. Give me a second. Here's a puppy. Oh, Arcos is co-starring. That's our goal. Right up. He's like, sneaky puppy might be getting some broccoli. No puppy, no broccoli. Sneaky puppy might be getting some chicken. Washing potatoes. 
Now you wash them with a little scrubby scrubby brush or what are you doing? Uh-huh, sure. You can pretend that's what I'm doing. You just lightly glaze like grazing them under the water and I'm like calling giving that, them calling a wash. hand massage. You know they come out of the dirt, right? You know that dirt usually has fertilizer and stuff. I'm washing them off. What more do you want? I'm not gonna scrub them. That's you just you just okay with poop potatoes is what I'm hearing. It's gonna get cooked. It's fine. <laughs> no, nobody follow my directions on cooking. This is don't don't do this. Dilsey tries salmonella. It's not. It's fine. Goodness gracious. So in a medium bowl, we're supposed to combine uh, panko, Italian cheese. Oh, <laughs> panko. I I just call them breadcrumbs. I mean, <clears throat> that's what they are. Yeah. They're just from the Panko region of France. Oh, it's secret time. What kind of secret can we say while Sils is getting salt and pepper? Comment in the comment section if you think Silsy should have three or four more cats. Definitely three more cats. I've got about 70 cats. And we're back with Silsy with the earbud hearing what I can actually say. Yeah, oh God, what was she saying about me? There was, there was no mention of pink. Panko? Can I do this without making a mess? No. Mine's are over there. Unrelated. I don't know what Seti Cat's saying right now, but I gotta make tea. So only the purest of water for the Silsi household because their well runs under a potato. Breadcrumbs. That took longer than expected. <laughs> they put it at the end, be sure to measure uh, the Italian seasoning. We sent extra. <laughs> Put that at the end. What if I hadn't read that? They said a tablespoon. Did that? I think so. I'm, I'm glad I missed. Oh, sh now I need a tablespoon. Just I pulled it. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. This is this is dinner time in the silky household. That's not a none of those. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And wash that too. Also covered in soy sauce. There's, there's the face. There's the thumbnail. This is Italian. Is this one tablespoon? Maybe they put a whole extra pack in there that they don't want to talk about. Ooh, this smells. You're fine. Just dump it in. That, look, that looks. That looks like a tablespoon to me. Okay. So what, okay. what, what is it? What does it smell like? It smells like green. Green. Like green. green. Okay, that's okay. uh descriptive. All right, and then one tablespoon of olive oil. Oh, it says two tablespoons for four people, but they only gave one tablespoon. There's, I'm not missing anything. That was it. Yeah, they only sent me one of those. I mean, that's fine. I don't like seasoning anyway, so it's fine. One tablespoon of olive oil or two tablespoons for four. This is for four. I'm just impressed you're following mostly the recipe. Oh, it's, it's Publix. Publix. Nice. Fancy. Super fancy. So we're supposed to set aside. Oh, I'm supposed to dice the potatoes. I'm... Yeah. Oof. Oops. Okay. Okay. I need the oh, big goodness. knife. See, this is going to go well. Nothing like Silsy with a giant knife. That's fantastic. Yeah. No, happy Halloween. <laughs> I'm going to stab myself. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, keep fucking around. You're going to see what happens. Like anybody's going to put it on their real baking sheet. Please. Why is that so hot? You have a you have a stove on. You have a stove on. Every time. But how how does that even happen? I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I can't read the little picture. You know. Is the oven preheating right now, or just yeah. the stove? Okay. I did turn on. I did preheat the oven. Okay. Okay. They want me to dice cut the broccoli fries into bite-sized pieces like those are bite-sized enough i'm not gonna cut them again that's bites. calm down hello fresh zest and quarter lemon and do what with it do they want to zest where, where do they want you to put the zest i don't know it says dice potatoes into one inch pieces cut broccoli florets into bite-sized pieces zest and quarter lemon okay what's the next step when does the lemon come back in Carefully toss broccoli with lemon zest and add lemon juice. Oh, you're supposed to, what? Finish and serve. That's like 
they want me to zest it and then okay we're they gonna probably just want you to do all they want you to do all the prep work first That's okay we're gonna we're just gonna dice potatoes what's one inch i don't know uh length of your thumb to the first knuckle it's, it's actually very hot on the other side so we're not gonna yeah. touch that side like it's been on an oven burner for the last 20 minutes mm. it wasn't 20 it wasn't 20 minutes probably i'm already unhappy just 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 It'll be okay. Just we're gonna make move on. Is that a McDonald's reference? Yes, because I know what you'd rather be having. <laughs> what did you have earlier today, Silsi? Could it have was possibly it, been McDonald's? What was it? The Silsi special? It was. So, um, Hobo Stone in the drive-thru was like, "I, you have to make it big on YouTube just so you can have your own McDonald's meal." Like, you know, they do the the special meals. And I'm like, that is that is my life goal. Yep. Is to have the Silsi. Well, tell us what the Silsi special is. <laughs> the the Silsi special is a uh, double cheeseburger. <laughs> Am I really gonna admit to this? Okay. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> a hot and spicy McChicken, a large fry, large Coke, and sometimes an apple pie. So that's the Silsi special. Yeah. No, no modifications, no, like, stick two McNuggets in between. None of this nonsense no. you see. Just, like, order it off the, the menu and put it in the bag. Yeah. I can get behind that. That's a good special. Yeah, I think it is a good special. They should make me famous. It's it's definitely, a like, a I'm starving and I didn't have breakfast special. It's my one me when I eat one meal a day special, normally. Except I'm eating HelloFresh today, so... Well, no, you aren't. You're making HelloFresh. I will be shocked if you eat more than three bites of this. <laughs> the, okay, I said this didn't look like a lot of potatoes, but all of a sudden my tray is filling up very quickly. I don't have to do another tray. Oh, make me do another tray, please. Oh my god. How many more taters you got? Like, do you think that's good for four people, three people? No, no. You know you won't be happy with that. I mean, I will because I had McDonald's today, so I'm not starving. But what if they're really good? Uh, we can make decisions I, later I, on. I would do all of them because that's the, the seasoning breakdown. It says to not use the whole pack, though. It's already having me not use the whole package. Well, that's just a lie. You should use all the seasoning all the time. And then add some extra seasoning. Throw some smoky paprika on it, too. Ugh, no thank you. I guess we need another disclaimer. Silsi is a picky eater and doesn't like a lot of things. I don't know if picky eater really encapsulates the very small corridor of acceptable food. At McDonald's. Hush puppies. No. You gotta be specific, hush puppies. I've seen you turn down hush puppies because they're not yeah. the right Kind. I mean, if they're crappy. And by crappy, I mean probably not crappy. I like yucky food. I mean, not yucky, but like bland, plain, refrigerated, frozen. That's a that's a lot of potatoes. What's going on the other side of the tray? No. Well, yeah, but I mean, is there something that's supposed to go on the other side of the tray? Is oh, that yeah, there's the supposed to be chicken and broccoli that go on this tray. It's all supposed to be one tray. Okay, well, I guess you're getting another tray out. Damn it. Unless they want you to pile it, like, thickly so it cooks like that, but... We won't set it on the hot burner. We will smush these back this way to make room for the broccoli. Smush, smush them more. There. Keep smushing. There you go. That's a lot of potatoes, though. Um, Super smush. Okay. It'd be it's delicious. a lot. It says drizzle of olive oil. I don't know what that is. Drizzly amount? Like, should I get a spoon? This um, is salt and pepper. Toss, okay, let's see. I'm, I'm skipping steps. Toss broccoli with a drizzle of olive oil and season salt. I've, I've over seasoned uh, vegetables many times. See, I, I, my bowls have a lid so I can just shake and toss them. Mm. So there you go. That works. They want me to put lemon juice after I cook it. Yes. Oh, is that how you do it? That's really how you do it? Oh no, I'm not supposed to add the broccoli until after the potatoes have cooked for 10 minutes. Just drizzle them with some olive oil. Get them in the oven. Let's go. We're just going to drizzle these with olive oil. Whatever, that's good enough. Okay. Put half of this uh, seasoning, fry seasoning on it. I probably need to put the camera on the other side of what I'm actually doing. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's a look. And this is your fault for being left-handed. Our ghost is not interested in just one little piece of raw potato. Or make it worth his while. Roast 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, okay, so these just need to go in. So, while potatoes roast, pat chicken dry with paper towels and season all over with salt and pepper. Evenly spread sour cream mix onto tops of chicken 
mound with panko mix pressing firmly to adhere. <sighs> Gross. Evenly spread sour cream onto tops of chicken and then mound with panko mix. Oh no, that's coming out. I don't think I opened that right. Gonna Don't ever your out. piece in. Oh, oh no. You can't, you can't even see this mess that I'm making. You can't hear me. Oh, it's like rubbing I'm not sunscreen doing this right. on my thighs. It's fine. Just pale. So pale. Now I'm gonna judge you on your chicken handling skill. And then I'm supposed to evenly spread it and then mound it with pinko mess. <coughs> I can't. Oh gosh, I was like, all over. it's fine. <laughs> Only my family is eating this. <laughs> oh, okay. I I did wash my hands, so it's, it's okay. He's not supposed to gag over it. Oh my god. I don't know what Sunny kept saying, but I'm sure it's great. Oh my god. There's probably like a way to do this with utensils, but we don't got time for. This. Yeah, give it. Yeah, that's there's the thumbnail. I'll get back right to there. my headphones when uh. Oh my yeah. My hands aren't disgusting. Just unhappiness all over that chicken. Okay. So, so where's the chicken going? The chicken is gonna go in with the broccoli, I think. So we were on step four. Step four, gag at the sight of the chicken. Uh, so we were supposed to, in a large bowl, toss broccoli and drizzle with olive oil and season with pepper. We already did that. Once potatoes have roasted for 10 minutes, remove sheet from oven, carefully add broccoli and coat the chicken to empty side. Uh, for four serving least potatoes roasting, add broccoli and chicken to a second baking sheet. That was my plan. Maybe I should get a bigger sheet. Just put half the broccoli with the chicken and half the potatoes. Okay, that's smart. Return to top rack until potatoes are crisp, broccoli is lightly charred, and chicken is golden brown and cooked thoroughly. 15 to 20 minutes more. Keep an eye out. Potatoes may finish first. Carefully toss broccoli with lemon zest. Add lemon juice to taste. Um, divide chicken and potatoes between plates. Blah, blah, blah. So that's it. Pretty much. Chicken. Oh, that was just like a pile of panko there. Just push that on. Smoosh it back in. Okay. Smoosh. And we'll take all of this extra panko and just pile it on. So Door DoorDash delivery lady says she wants to be my friend. Because clearly I'm having a party with the amount of wine I've bought. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her it was a party of one. <laughs> and that it's a flat delivery rate, so why wouldn't I buy a month's worth of wine at once? Like, come on now. And then she gave you a look like... And then she was like, I never thought about that. And I'm like, that's why this country's in a fiscal crisis. You pay $7.99 every time you get a delivery. You better order $150 worth of stuff. And then we're going to put some broccoli on. The other half on the other sheet. It's nobody supervising, steady cat. I, there's smoking on the stove. Yeah, you need. Yeah, come on now. I I I knew it. I knew it. I, your water's boiling. Did I momentarily think I was gonna grab that other tray out you, of the oven? I, you, yeah. Yeah. Oh looky there. It looks so pretty. It's up for another ten. I will then reset it at another 10 minutes to see if the potatoes are done or not. That's it. So, yeah. Uh, Do you like crazy faces? Like. No, I feel like your brand is really you just being upset by having to do everything. Oh yeah. No, one of those, one of those where it's just like, I, I'd rather not actually. You got to dance a little bit. Yeah. You got to do a knees dance. I didn't hear what Limit said. He said, I, did you see the newest Neebs gaming video? Neebs does a dance. He says, I have to do a Neebs dance. Um, it's it's really hilarious. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Do the Neebs dance. You're just going to cut it out anyway. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Okay, now that I'm out of breath from doing the Neebs dance. I do, do a do a transition like hey so while this is in the oven cooking uh, I'm gonna go set the table and then we'll be back with plating <laughs> right so yeah see see you when it's ready to throw on a plate so it's in the oven cooking and uh, we will be back when I'm ready to plate it and then eat it Bye. Maybe, maybe 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 eat it maybe eat it possibly try it out and see what it tastes we like. We get a reaction shot? I guess so.
And we have finished and plated up three of the first HelloFresh meals I've ever made. Um, let's get a close up. Mm. Mm.